Hi, um, this is my paint job for the Airstrike 240. As you can see, this is not the original color at all. Like, not even close to the original color. Um, this used to be cam a forest camo. This used to be clear. This used to be orange. Still is. Uh, as you can see, the orange back. It used to be orange, but I kept it because, I don't know, I felt it like it looked better on the gun. Uh, to paint the gun, I practically went bond on it. I took it apart and uh, took it apart, put some tape on the spring so I wouldn't get paint on the spring because I don't know why, but it, I just didn't want paint on the spring. And uh, put tape on the back spring here, put tape on the orange back, like I said. When it came to uh, the clip magazine, I just put the tape over the crack, over this hole where the BBs get fed to the gun, and where the feeder picks it up practically. When it came to the gun itself, I unscrewed the handles, took them off, painted those white. I don't know, I live in Canada, so white is practically the color of winter here, so I don't know, I love white. And um, I put some tape over the trigger, took everything apart practically. I'm going to have to show you a video when I take it all apart, because uh, it's pretty cool when you take it all apart. It looks weird, but it looks cool at the same time. And as you, there's already a review on this gun before it got painted. And um, this, this is practically my review on the paint job of the Airstrike 240. But there's only one little thing. It gets the cock back. So I press my thumbs. You know, like, just and go like, ooh, it's normal. Or I just take a piece of paper and just sand the paint. Not on the exterior, but on the interior, the paint. Because I got a bit of paint in there by accident. Well, there's only that and this tiny piece of clear I forgot to paint. And technically, yeah, you're supposed to have clear. A lower receiver. Lower receiver, yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to have uh, clear on your gun if you live in Canada. So technically I'm legal. So rock on legalness. And cocky. When you cock it, I kept everything. I didn't want to get too much paint on the barrel. Well, not barrel, but a tube that has a barrel in it. Alright, thanks for watching the review of my paint review of my Daisy Airstrike 240. You might see more videos like this soon coming this summer because I'm not going to paint my other guns yet. Alright, later.